It's like we have a time machine to go back and see what was happening even 150 years ago with the weather. So in the 20th Century Reanalysis Project, we're taking surface observations that were observed on land and on ocean and combining them with sophisticated computer models of the atmosphere to recreate the weather map all the way from the surface to the jet stream back through the 20th century into the 19th century. One of the real values of this project is that we'll be able to put current events, extreme weather events, extreme climate such as drought, in the context of past events. And we're doing this so that we can see how storms have varied across the 20th century and going back into the 19th century, and how well do our computer models that are going to simulate the 21st century simulate the 19th century and the early 20th. So this example of the 1938 Long Island Express hurricane forms a nice example of what we can do when we have sufficient computer power and a good number of observations. We have 56 forecasts that's shown in blue, the tracks of our forecast storms, and the red is the track that the actual 1938 hurricane took. So we have some confidence that our upper level recreation, this unusual event, is fairly accurate. So the observations that we have come from ships and land stations, and those ships are pretty exciting because some of them are merchant marine vessels traveling the world, some of them come from Navy observations, some of them come from scientific expeditions where explorers went to the Arctic or Antarctic at great risk to life and limb. The 20th Century Reanalysis Project and its follow-on, the Surface Input Reanalysis for Climate Applications that'll go back to 1850, would not be possible without the Department of Energy supercomputers. We've used more than four million computing hours in the past year. To do the same thing on a single laptop would have taken almost 500 years to generate these weather maps.